All right, so here we go with another quick tip on assembly of your Ender 3. Your um, carriage right here. Now, when you go to put this thing on, a lot of times what it's going to do is it's going to bind up. It's not going to go onto your 1020 extrusion here very easily at all. And it's going to be feel really, really tight, even though you adjust your eccentric nut all the way out to its furthest point. So, if that is the case, what you're going to do, real simple, go ahead and loosen these, this nut here and loosen this nut back over here. Once you have those loosened, you'll actually see that there is, sorry, you actually see that there is a slight bit of play in this. Now, once you've got those loosened up and you've got your eccentric nut at its maximum, come over here we can slide it on and you'll see it just it goes right on. Now once you've got it on there and everything is nice and loose we're gonna go ahead we're gonna tighten up the eccentric nut just a little bit to where it needs to be and then with that done we're gonna go ahead and tighten these. Once we have these retightened we can then go ahead and loosen the eccentric nut back to its maximum outside point and we should be completely good and no binding whatsoever. So just a quick tip on your assembly of your Ender 3. Have a good one y'all.